So after not speaking on the channel for four years, it's been a bit of a pain. I mean, recently I've gone up nine subscribers, which is alright. Uh, I somehow dipped in eight, so I'm on 49, I think, at the moment of recording this. So I want to get back into doing YouTube, because uh, I finished basic studies and that for now. I've got a while to work on growing it, and I've got a lot more skill since the last time I put some actual proper videos up so today I'm going to be giving you a blender basic quick start guide uh, obviously it's simple to download and install programs blender is not an actual proper install pro or program to install it works a bit differently it works in folders you find this with most open source programs work in folders so here you have options for windows which it goes through 2.79 and 2.8 uh, the tutorials for the foreseeable future I'll be using 2.8 but with 2.79 shortcuts. We have the macOS, uh, there's only one version for macOS because they only support 64 bit, and then Linux also has 64 bit and 32 bit. But uh, download that, it'll come up with up here in little Blender folder. Uh, down in your folder, you've got this, you can extract using it's a zip, so you can use anything you want. I use 7 zip just because I like the program. Uh, in here you have all of these application extensions, 2.8 Python files and that, but you don't need to worry about that, you just want to come back into this one and down to the exe. So when you open it up you get this wonderful menu. Uh, as it's not my first time opening Blender 2.8 uh, you won't have the options to change all of the shortcut keys and that, so I'm going to have to do this by going to Edit, uh, Preferences. In Keymap, we have these settings here. You want to come to the top drop down menu, go from Blender to Blender 2.7x, which is the 2.79 uh, shortcut key maps. Uh, up at navigation, you want to orbit around selection and zoom to mouse position. Uh, in input, you want to emulate three button mouse. You can emulate the numpad, which basically just turns the numbers on the actual keyboard into the numpad uh, numbers. Uh, which is good if you have uh, no numpad but it, it does get frustrating for people who do have a numpad so I wouldn't recommend enabling that if you actually have a numpad uh, in here we'll be using a lot of the F2 add-on which is a pretty good mesh add-on and I'll explain it in a later video it doesn't really need explaining in this one so that's all you need to enable in the settings so when you're in blender the basic uh, maneuvering of the program uh, you use the middle mouse button a lot so when you're moving the middle mouse button around you're just panning around and rotating uh, you can r scroll in and out with your middle mouse button and this will scroll in and out for you it zooms to the mouse position if you don't have that selected it will always zoom to the middle it's a bit of an annoying feature though because rotating around selection so like this you're working on a mesh here but if you were zooming in you'd be zooming in here but trying to look over there it, it just makes everything much easier to work with uh, for if you are emulating the three button mouse uh, alt and click to move to move to pan the camera sorry alt control to zoom in and out this is useful if you're using a graphics tablet for sculpting uh, alt and shift which will move this around I personally find this quite useful as it just moves you around uh, with a normal mouse you'd have to go in and out like this uh, I think there might be a thing a shortcut to actually do that just with a mouse but I haven't used it so I'm not sure uh, but yeah that's basically what you need to know when getting started with Blender and that's all you need to know for my future tutorials uh, I should have another one up later today uh, going on about some more complex shapes and logic so stay tuned for that uh, I'll see you then